In this video, we'll show you something a little bit more complex, which is custom fins. This rocket here has simple trapezoid fins, which are these right here. If you want to add custom fins, or change these to custom fins, you must delete them first. So we'll go ahead and delete them from the rocket. And now we're going to add back custom fins, and this is the custom fins button right here. And again, it always looks in the database first, and we'll cancel out of that. And you'll get this screen here showing the custom fins. And the custom fins at this point look just like a simple trapezoid fin. And here are the points that create that trapezoid. And just clicking on the grid, you can change the shape of the fin. Pretty easy, huh? Uh, one of the other things that you can do is to delete the points. So you hit the delete button, and then you click on a button, and it will delete. Um, this is the chamfer a point tool, and this will um, make a curve, uh, a series of points that create a curve on the, on, the, on the fin. Let me cancel out of that. First I want to select the point, and then hit the chamfer tool, and type in a radius. I'll make it one inch so you can see it, and I'll just add five points, and click OK. So there's a five point radius. Um, other thing you can do is zoom out. Say you wanted to make a, a really big fin, so you just keep zooming out. And if you want to move a point forward, just grab it and you can slide it forward. See, so now I'm forward of the leading edge of the fin. Um, another thing that you can do is uh, change the location of the fin, and as you slide the fin forward, uh, you can actually move it all the way over onto the nose cone by doing a negative number. So I'm at a negative one inch and you can see it's, it's going over the edge of the, the nose cone. So don't be afraid to do that and that's pretty simple on custom fence.